Hello, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and today's question comes from Jeff. He has recently discovered the works of Margaret Brundage, and is curious to know what I think of her. For those who are unaware, Miss Brundage was an artist and an illustrator for Weird Tales magazine, for which I used to write. She was very famous for her somewhat lurid uh, covers, uh, which tended to depict women in various states of distress. Given that my own stories try to avoid those libidinous excesses, our paths seldom crossed. However, I often found myself in great conflict with many of the artists on staff at Weird Tales. I never felt like they could truly grasp the essence of my stories. Indeed, I questioned whether literacy was a required trait for that magazine. You see, there comes a a necessary conflict between artist and writer when the writer tries to depict creatures that are beyond depiction. They are unnameable, indescribable. And artists have this rather irritating habit of wanting to, well, show things. It makes things rather tricky. Although I did try to compromise, I, I, I designed uh, my own cover, which I submitted to Weird Tales, but they, they never quite cared for. See what you think for yourself has absolutely everything, no? There's simply no accounting for taste, I suppose. But as for Miss Brundage, if you enjoy her work, well, that is your right and your prerogative. I, I would never rob you of that. Just be careful you don't enjoy her so much you go blind. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.